Darcy is pretty strong. It's like one of the strongest mid laner up to date. But oh, I mean, Superman. If you think about it, there's still so much in terms of um, exchange here. The versatility of the picks of Evos is already there. They're, they're possible. They can be possibly used for any lane that they want, depending on the matchup or the lineup that they kind of go head to head with against BRU for Game Four. And it is the Zephyrus. You said it. <laughs> so it will be Lindus in the jungle. The Zephyrus. That uh, that tower beat lost. Still here though. It's gonna be a big fight as Nunu gets caught Ooh. out. Good timing though, activating that. Uh... Also, will try to snipe out Zonan away, but hands try to fall into the middle of four men of BRU. Will he get taken down? Yes. The snipe coming from Elsa will connect. Oh, that will be another snipe coming onto Weirol. They are continuing on the fight, but Poka pushed down Nunu. But is it enough though? They will try to con. Continue on to Poker, the snipe didn't manage to connect through. That will be two men being picked up on EVOS. One on the top side, three on the bot lane. And Darcy still has the dragon with him. Will he release his dra dragon? And the Drake will be summoned in the melee bot Ooh. side. The Foxen will be taking down Wyverse. Yo, Wyverse ate a good chunk of like two snipes there. And then ultimate drop down from the Foxen. Yes, please. Now, Drake is actually here into the mid lane. They, they do take it out incredibly quickly. So they can't really get near to the range of killing off the dragon. And finally, the Drake will be taken down, but sad to say the tier 3 tower bot side will be down. This mid could actually follow up as well. Beautifully executed there to keep Polka in the middle of it. He's still getting chased Ooh. down. And what was that? The snipe from Nunu? This is all falling directly to the hands of BRU. They dive right in. There's going to be the pullback by oh. Summer. Wira is already knocked out. Now y is trying to uh, run from the sidelines. Here comes Hans. He's going to try to absorb all of the damage because he is that Zephyrus. Does get the shutdown onto Summer there though. But while all of that shenanigans was happening... An extra thing to focus on for Evos to clear off. Oh, they're running. Oh no. Oh. y -Force, he was in such a weird angle there. Even through the Phantom. That was way too far out into the open. They have no towers to back them up here, and they can even get even dove upon if they wanted to. Hans is another casualty that's going to follow up, and even though he is the Zephyrus, he should be able to actually survive all of that. It's not going to matter when it's a Dark Slayer up team, when it's five of them crashing down from up above. And here he is. Hoka just comes out, follows through. There's only going to be Fall to remain, and the Nexus is already being taken here. That's going to be game four into the pockets of BRU, finishing off, well, this one, 3-1, and one more game. They go into the, uh, the semi-finals.